all right what's going on guys so today we're back on like top 50 ladder there's like five days ish left in the season so we're gonna be pretty much having to sweat as hard as possible to uh get wins today um currently like top 50 ish in the world i think i'm like 34th or something like that um, but anyways this guy's playing motorcycle with archers uh you guys probably know the deck it has rocket it's kind of like ice bow but just like a quicker cycle with a mortar and archers instead of the ice wizard so not really um what we're looking for as a matchup but you know we're still gonna do our best here he's gonna go ahead and split archers i'm just gonna go with the expo since i have the knight already on the board um i think it's very important in this matchup to just pressure a lot and uh okay this is kind of a bad yeah i'm not gonna waste an ice wizard. just gonna tank a couple archer shots here it's whatever um but it's very important to stay aggressive in this matchup because you can't let them just sit back and rocket cycle you. Um, it's very, very easy for them to do that, actually, believe it or not. Even if they rocket your um, tower, they can still easily defend with Mortar and Knight. So we're just going to go Knight in the other lane here. Um, let's see, you might split Archers. Okay. He's going to go for a Knight. I'm just going to log that off. Then go Expo in this other lane here. All right, he's probably going to rocket it again. Yeah, okay, so... At least we forced out the archers, so he can't really um, go in with the mortar right now. He's pretty low on elixir. We'll just go skellies in the center to kite this knight over. And then, yeah, I figured he'd go with an ice spirit. So we're just going to have to drop an ice on top of this archer and the spirit um, to clean that up. Man, ice was health. Like, this is why ice was needs an HP buff, because, like, this card absolutely gets rolled by pretty much any other card in the game, um, like, on HP-wise. So anyways, we're just going to go knight in the back. He's going to go Mortar. We're going to kind of be forced to Tesla. He's probably going to predict it, yeah. Uh, didn't really have any other options there, though, so it's kind of like, eh, not, not a great scenario for me. Um, I'm going to cycle my Log and then Skellies right away because I need to block for this Mortar, obviously. We'll go Ice was low. He might go for a NATO Log. Yeah, dude, I hate when they do that. It's actually so frustrating because the Mortar shot also kills, and there's like there's like almost nothing you can do. Um, oh, crap. I got to go defensive expo which is obviously not good so he's just gonna rocket my tower you know what i'm okay with this i can just rocket his um i kind of had no choice but to go defensive expo there as you guys saw um my hand was a little bit awkward and i pretty much like only had one ground unit in the unit in cycle so um i'm just gonna cycle my ice was low here where he can't rocket it Go for a knight on top of this. Um, he's gonna go mortar which is okay with me he's gonna try and nato i'm actually gonna nato his archers right away to kill them Nice, that's actually really good. And we can just go for a knight low here since, dude, how did all my stuff just die? I don't even know. Nato log just kills absolutely everything that I have. Um, I'm just going to go ice to finish off the mortar just in case he gets another swing. And then, let's see, going to go skellies, cycle my log, go for prediction Tesla at the bridge here. Um, okay, he does not go mortar, which is not great for me, but um, I'm just going to go pre-nato because I figured he would do something. Yeah, he's going to go for a log, that's fine. Whoa, 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 he's gonna rocket my tower. Kind of a very, very, very aggressive play by him. I don't like that at all. I'm just gonna go knight in the middle here. Dude, he almost got a knight down after rocketing my tower and playing a mortar on defense. That's absolutely insane. Um, I'm just gonna go for a log. The nice was to the side for the archers, maybe? No, he's gonna go with another mortar. So, this is not great for me, obviously. Um, I'm just gonna go with the rocket on tower now since I am up a few elixir. He might rock me back, but I think he's going to be down if he does that, like a good amount. So I'm just going to be ready to go in with another Expo right here. Okay, he tries to predict me with the Archers, which is fine. I can just log those off and then go for an Ice was in the center here. Get down, please. Nice. Okay, um, so there's a chance that we can actually protect this Expo. I'm going to go ahead and block and then just NATO everything up here. Go for a log on zero. Maybe you get a connection. No, you don't. He's already back to another knight. Like, every time you think you're gonna, you're gonna get close, he's already back. So I'm just gonna go for another expo. Um, prediction Ice was in the middle here. Skelly's in the knight as well. He's definitely not gonna rock knight. Yep, okay, wait, 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 wait. I'm gonna go for um, prediction log and NATO to kill everything. Nice, we get the lock on, that's huge, that's game. Um, all I need to do is cycle two rockets now. And I think we beat out his cycle. I'm not really sure though, he has a really fast cycle. So, oh no, do we actually lose this? No, please. I'm gonna go for a log here and then go for knight on zero and then rocket as soon as I can. Okay, even if he rockets before me, oh wait. Okay, we're fine. <sighs> okay, that was actually really, really intense. Um, that natal log was absolutely clean. It just caught like everything, um, gave me that lock on right away. Um, plus 24 versus a very, very tough matchup. That's like probably a 70 30 at least for them. Um, that's gonna put us 11th in the world, so yeah. Pretty dang good start to the video. Um, I'm gonna keep climbing hopefully and uh, see how high we can get.
All right, in the next match against Katori, aka Baby Nate. So I'm just gonna split my skellies in the back. He's probably playing Archer Queen because um, he doesn't really play the Dark Prince anymore, I don't think. I don't know. He, at least the last few times I've played him, he always uses the Archer Queen version. Yep, so he's gonna Bomb Tower. Um, Honestly, kind of have a bad cycle. Just gonna go Tesla the River. Um, let's see. Okay, he's gonna go Goblins. I'm actually gonna play the Knight in the back right here. Yep, there's the queen. So we're just gonna go ahead and... Ooh, okay. Um, I'm gonna wait for that to lock on and then go skellies. Just drop a nice was in the back. Dude, I hate the archer queen. I cannot wait for the nerf to happen. Um, I'm honestly more excited for the balance changes just because this card's gonna get freaking nerfed. I don't even care about the rocket. Like, you can nerf the rocket all you want. Just nerf the stupid queen, dude. I'm sick of it. Um... So he goes for a bomb tower. I'm just going to go expo in the left lane on zero since he doesn't have his queen in the cycle. And oh, he has earthquake. Great. Um, That's actually really bad for me. So this is going to be actually really tough. He's probably just going to go for a log on top of the expo. Yeah. So we get no damage. He gets earthquake in my tower. Oof. Okay, so minor earthquake. Queen cycle. Yeah, that's uh, not what you want to hear when you're playing Ispo. But we do have rockets, so maybe we can like beat him with rocket cycles but i have to play like pretty dang good defense here and not allow like much minor damage or any queen connections so i'm just gonna go ice boost in the back um we'll go skellies for the spirit he's probably gonna go queen now or bomb tower interesting play i'm gonna go with the rocket on tower and then oh okay i'm gonna go tesla up high and then go for a really low log here should knock that queen back into the Tesla. Yeah, okay, so not bad. We do take a bunch of minor chip, but that could have been a lot worse right there. Um, pretty good defense, I'd say. So I need to try and figure out how I'm going to prevent damage on my tower um, as much as possible. So I'm just going to cycle my skellies. And then... Why would he earthquake the left lane? That doesn't make any sense. Um, he also played his queen, so I'm just going to go in with the expo. I mean, why not? I'm going to log and then also go for a tornado on this queen. And we're gonna get a connection on tower for like what four, three four hundred damage, so that's actually really huge. Um, I'm not really sure why he didn't bomb tower right there. Okay, he's gonna spam absolutely every card that he has in his deck. So we're just gonna log this queen back, and then we got a NATO it on zero. Please pull it away. Okay, we're fine. Whew, that was actually pretty close. Um, he's gonna go minor in the back, I'm guessing. Yeah, so we catch that pretty easily. He goes for another earthquake that gets absolutely no value, so we can definitely rock it here again. Um, I'm gonna go defensive expo first though actually I kind of want to just see how this works since like obviously he isn't really using his earthquake on anything except for the tower so um, gonna drop an ice was in the back he goes queen other lane that's a mistake I'm just gonna rocket the tower he's gonna cycle probably a thousand minor earthquakes on the tower but it doesn't really matter I'm just gonna go Tesla in the center here he's gonna probably activate the queen ability um, yeah there it is don't really have to worry about that too much he also wastes the bomb tower so I'd say that's a pretty big mistake. Um, I could log that queen, but I don't really feel like I need to. He's going to Earthquake once again, so I'm just going to rocket his tower. Also going to play Miner, and then we're just going to log that Ice Spirit. And yeah, this is pretty much in our control, um, as long as I don't make any major mistakes or that Miners connect too much. So I'm honestly going to go with a Tesla up high here to snipe this queen. Nice, he plays the Earthquake like pretty, pretty badly, so it doesn't get any value. I'm just going to try and predict Miner in the back here with Skellies and Knight. He does not go for it, so we're just going to go with a uh, rocket on tower now. Yeah, this one's over. He can't do anything. Um, I don't know what happened. He kind of just, I don't know. He didn't play too great, but I think we just kind of had a good cycle as well this whole game. So we're just going to go for a rocket to finish it off and take another pretty clean ra victory right there. I mean, we uh, I'd say we didn't make any mistakes. We almost, one time, almost got caught off by a queen, but uh, we managed to defend it pretty well, so yeah. All right, in the next match against Isaiah here, um, all right. he goes for a Ice Spirit at the bridge, so probably like a Hog Cycle deck. If I remember playing this guy, I think he plays Hog, actually, so. Um, oh, Firecracker, that's not good. He's probably, like, testing it out now to see if it's going to be good for the next meta, since it's obviously getting that speed buff. Um, should die right here? Yeah, nice. So we're just going to go in and also going to go for a Tornado on this Knight, I think. Nice, we're actually going to get to walk on right there. Um, he's going to go for the Hog Earthquake. Can I play my... Oh, that's not good. I played my Skelly to the side, but it kind of got um messed up. Because he went for the um 
what do you call it, went for that log. So I'm just going to drop an ice boost on zero on top of this knight. And yeah, he's going to firecracker the bridge. Doesn't really surprise me. Going to have to go for a knight on zero. Dang it, it actually gets another shot here probably. Yeah, so that's kind of unfortunate. But you know what? It is what it is. Um, he's going to go for hog. Now we can just activate king tower. Hopefully my knight goes to the tower and doesn't be dumb. Um, forces out skellies from him, which is okay. Um, not the greatest, but... At least we got the King Tower activa activation. Um, we are down a couple hundred damage, but it's definitely like not a big deal. Um, I think I'd rather have King Tower activation and be cup down a couple hundred than be like even or something. So, hmm, I haven't really played against the Firecracker in a long time. I'll be honest. Like it's been a, probably this entire season. Like I don't know if I've ever even faced a single one, which is kind of crazy. Um, but he's gonna go ahead and play a Tesla on top of my Tesla. I don't know if I like that play from him. Um, he is gonna outcycle my counters for the hog pretty easily, so I'm just gonna have to drop an ice boost and yeah, go skellies, go knight up high here, and then go for a nato. I kind of just played my entire elixir bar, but I can't really take damage, and um, that was probably the best way I could do. So, just gonna go ahead and um, drop off a Tesla in the center, I think. Um, Gotta go with, with another ice boost low. Skelly's to predict a Tesla. No, we played that like a second too late. That's kind of unfortunate. Um, but anyways, we're just gonna go... Oh, no. Um, I think I can still take no hits here if I nato perfectly. Yeah, I think we're still chilling. So, ice boost cleans up that pretty well. Ice boost is actually really clutch against the hog rider. Um, just for like slowing it down and buying me enough time to defend it. So, we're just gonna set up Tesla in the center once again. Prediction, um, skellies, and then, let's see, my ice boost actually gets on tower for, what, three shots? That's really, really clutch right there. Gonna go for prediction knight for the Tesla. Nice, we actually caught it this time, and, um, got the, like, killed the entire thing. So I'm just gonna go for nato log to kill that firecracker. Definitely worth it, in my opinion. Um, he's gonna go for the earthquake cycle. That's just an easy, um, ro should I rocket his tower? I think I should, but I'm just gonna go ice boost in the back first and play it slow. Um, I know I can catch up on damage if I need to, so... Gonna go with a log and then Tesla up high here. Nice, we sniped that firecracker, that's really, really good. He plays his Tesla as well. I think we can probably just go for a... Um, mm, I wanna go for a rocket, but I also don't have like the greatest hand to defend the firecracker. So I'm just gonna go ahead and rocket the firecracker now. Did we hit that? I think we missed. Yeah, we missed. Um, let's see, just gonna log it. And we should be all right. If he goes hog, I can just Tesla. I mean, I'm gonna Tesla regardless right here. Um, no, it's so annoying. Oh, he's gonna play like this, dude. I cannot stand people that play like this. Um, I think I just lost low key. Uh, I'm gonna have to go for a log right here and then go knight on zero. Hopefully, this hog only gets one swing on my tower. Um, we'll see. Yeah, it gets only one, but still, like, I'm not in a great spot right here. I'm um, just gonna have to go for. Uh, I gotta go for rocket. Like, I don't really have much of a choice. I'm also gonna go for tornado because I'm tired of that card. Um, he might go hog rider i had luckily triple um comes in at the perfect time right there i might have been dead so i'm just gonna log that hog off and um ooh, uh, this is actually kind of scary guys i'm gonna be honest usually i'm like chill in these situations but i don't have a green cycle and my cycle's been messed up like the entire game so i'm just gonna go for rocket skellies and then cycle a log hopefully i can get back to my tesla or enough elixir for my tesla and yes we can so i think we actually won this game i don't know how um i didn't play this one too great but I think we just have a decent matchup here. Firecracker, it doesn't really get too much value for him usually. And we're just going to rock it to finish off the game and take that victory. So yeah, um, I'm beating a hog cycle deck with Firecracker. Probably going to see a lot of that next season, but um, definitely a rare thing to see this season. Alright, we're going to play one more game here against... Oh my gosh, alright. This is, uh, yep, nice starting hand. No NATO or Tesla anywhere to be seen. That's perfect. So we're just going to go Skelly's on top of the hog. Ah, <sighs> that's annoying. Um, so we give up one shot early, which is not really a huge deal, but it's kind of like one of those things where you wish you had a NATO or Tesla in cycle, so you wouldn't suck in any damage. I'm just gonna go Knight in the center. Hmm. So if he has Valkyrie Goblins, he's probably playing Executioner, if I had to guess. Um, and usually they have Rocket as well. So, um... I think I'm just gonna go for an Expo here, since I'm on 10. Probably gonna rocket this. Okay, no, he's actually gonna go Xy, so I'm gonna tornado that off. Don't know if I like that play from him. Um, oh, wait a minute, he has lightning. That's really bad, actually. Uh, okay, so we're gonna give up, what, almost a thousand, a thousand damage to start this game from that one hog swing and that one lightning. 
but it's definitely not over. We need to switch lanes, like, right away. Um, you cannot play into the same lane as a Lightning ever. Like, I don't care what deck it is. It could be Golem, it could be Hog, it could be, like, literally Expo Lightning. Um, and you never want to play the same lane as them. So, I'm just going to cycle a Tesla in the center to kite this all over. And then, I'll, do I have to go for a Knight? I don't know. Yeah, I got to go for an Icewiz low here. Oh my gosh, that goblin still got a swing. That's annoying. Um, he actually goes for a log, and I know he's low, so I'm gonna play same lane here, even though I said just just said not to. Um, I know he's like pretty low on elixir, so I'm just gonna go knight and then spam skellies behind the other lane. He plays Xe on zero, so maybe he'll he'll actually be in trouble here. I think. Um, let's see. Yeah, we're gonna connect on tower. He's gonna have to nato this off. Yeah. Wow, we actually get a ton of damage, like, way more than I was expecting. And then I can just go Tesla up high to clean up this XE, and that actually worked out really, really well. Um, kind of played both lanes right there, like, perfectly. So now we're in, actually, in control of this game, even though we were down, like, a huge amount, and haven't gotten a single Expo connection or Rocket on Tower either. So that's kind of crazy. We're gonna go Ice Wiz in the back. He goes in really aggressively here. I'm just gonna log and then Tornado this Hog to King. Gonna set up a defensive Expo here now. Um, let's see, I'm just gonna go for Tesla up high as well. He might try lighting both. Yeah, he's gonna definitely go for the lighting on both of them. Um, so I'm just gonna go Wog for this Hog Rider and then NATO it all the way off. Okay, Skelly's to make sure it dies. Yeah, no damage given up there, that's really good. Okay, he goes for an XE in the middle. We can just go Defensive Expo right here. And, um, this should actually get a decent bit of value. He is gonna go Valkyrie. All right, we're gonna go log and then Tesla in the very bottom corner because I don't want to give him any lightning value, obviously. Um, Skelly's behind for the X in case he like somehow locks on tower. So we're just gonna go Expo since I do have this Expo already sitting here, and I'm pretty sure he's gonna have to lightning. Like this is too much for him not to lightning. Um, there it is. Okay, that's really good for me. Anytime he plays a lightning on defense on the other lane, that's like exactly what we're looking for. So we're just gonna cycle a log, keep the damage up. And play another Tesla up high. Okay, he predicted my Tesla with his Tesla, so I guess that was well played um, by him. He's going to go XE now, kind of a bad XE. It's not going to get him, like, much value at all. And he's going to just be forced to go with a Hog Raider on top of my um, Expo right there. So I can just keep setting up Teslas in the center here. He might try and predict me again. I'm just going to go Skellies. Um... Yeah, looks like he's not, so we'll just go Knight to counter this Valkyrie. Cycle and Ice was in the middle. And I think I'm just gonna go in. Okay, this is uh, not great. Gonna log everything over, and then Skelly's to tank for this first XE shot. That, that defense was actually pretty, um, I think, pretty much as good as it could have been. We're gonna go for Rocket on Tower now. I'm not gonna try and defend this Expo too hard, even though I already am like defending it really easily. He's going to have to go for an XE, which is kind of unfortunate for him. He doesn't want to do that since it's like five elixir down the drain. And my Expo is still going to connect a tower. Dude, Expo, wow. Um, we're just going to go for a Knight to decide to pull this Valk away. And we connect. Oh, we connect. That was actually a dirty um, Knight play. Um, so, yeah, Hogs on King Tower. We're just going to go for Rocket. He's still going to defend this Expo. Yeah, he doesn't. So it's going to be GG's. We end up taking another win against a Hog deck. Um, Hog Lightning, definitely an interesting variant. But, yeah, thanks for watching the video, guys, and um, we'll see you in the next one uh, tonight. I'm actually going to double upload. So, yeah, peace.